welcome to Gardenville.tv. Here we are at okay, Bloom on. in Phoenix Park 2011 and I'm lucky to be talking to Stephen Hennessy from Box Tea Bakers. Stephen, what is Box Tea Bakers? Yeah. Box Tea Bakers is a brand of ours and uh, in the range we have developed a range of baked box teas. Now, box tea, for this is my first time meeting box tea. Okay. What is box tea? It's a life changing experience. Absolutely. Box tea uh, is a very old traditional Irish, uh, Irish uh, food. It would have been uh, synonymous with Irish cuisine, uh, it's probably something like Irish too. But to a lot of, it, lot of uh, even our own country, it has tended to die off. And people's uh, knowledge of how to make it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We continue there. We're all right. That's um, that's natural filming for you. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, uh, so it's it's a traditional, it's all traditional um, recipe. Right now, what is in the recipe? What is in Boston? Well, like everybody's. Um, Irish stew recipe. There are yeah. there are tweaks, little, little, little tweaks little, Well, that's fair enough. Um, What's but the main our, ingredient? Well, our, our one is uh, my mother's, or her mother before, and so we think that ours is obviously uh, the original. But what it is, in essence, you take two kinds of potato. You have a grated raw potato, mm -hmm. and then you and, and you grate, 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 and then you take away all the starch. You have to drain all that starch away out of those grains. Oh, I see. Then you to have more potato that you actually um, cook and you mash it. Right. Then you combine the two kinds of potato. Okay. And you put that into a, a loaf tin yeah. and you slow bake that. So, a lot of work as you can probably it's guess It's a lot that. of work but you know something isn't it very tasty. It is absolutely. It's and the very starch is gone out of the, the potato. Is gone. Which a lot of people will like. Yeah, it makes it very light. A lot of people who have eaten box and tasted ours comment on how light it is. Um, so uh, the baking helps to, to lighten it a little bit, I think. Oh. And plus, uh, it's ex because it's only potato, or pretty much nearly only potato, it's extremely low in fat, extremely low in salt. Uh, both, you know, Weight Watchers and Slimming World. Uh, Clubs close to where we are in the last couple of months have latched on to it and are giving it out to all of them. And the great thing, of course, is it's filling. So, it you know, you haven't got the fatty yeah. side of it, but yes, it's filling. Yeah. Isn't that great it's today? Because it most people are looking for something to fill their stomachs. And I'm yes. something to show you, which I only, I only got this morning. Now, this. Now, chitting potatoes. Look at that. That is a lumper. And there's a, a gentleman um, over in the Grow Your Own section. Um, and he's close to us in, from, this, from the gardens in Lissadell. Yes. Oh, there. yes. And he's, he's world famous for the collection of potatoes he has. But this is called a lumper potato. And this would have been originally the potato grown in famine times. Okay. So and it isn't the perfect round potato no, that you buy in your supermarket. And it's not probably... Hello, we're eating the real thing here. Exactly. And to yeah. peel that, you're going to have lots of... Uh, Nooks wel and wel crannies. And welts on your hands when you, by the yeah. time you peel that and yeah. grate it. But that's the original. And the story goes back in back out, uh, where, part of yeah. the world we're yeah. from in Leach. Yeah. Uh, during famine times, the crop was failing in the fields. And right. a local curate in one of, in one of the parishes close to us gathered around a number of the, the women folk of, of the parish and said, What are we going to do? The like, potatoes are rotting out of the field. And like necessity being the mother of invention, they, that was by, by story anyway, is how boxy came to be made. They decided they didn't even have time to cook them, they started draining them raw and, and, and cooking them to try and preserve an extra few weeks. Now whether it's fact or fiction, that's the story. Well, do you know what? You've brought something to the market now which is absolutely terrific. It's Irish something to be very proud of, which we are in Ireland now. Anybody looking, first of all, I suppose before we even finish this clip, how do we cook it? Right, from the packet, we've... Let's go we've, over to the kitchen here and we'll have yeah. a look and see what's happening. We've done most of the work for you at this stage. We've done all the grating, peeling, uh, baking. Okay, so we get so it in our packet like this. get a packet this. like that. Yeah. All you want to do, it's already fully cooked, so all you want to do is um, heat it up right. and give it that little bit of crunch that we all like in our potatoes. Absolutely. So yeah. it's pretty much out of the packet, as you see here, in, in, into a, 
a hot plate yeah. into an oven. You could even try it in a toaster. And do you put a little bit of um, Irish butter on top? A tiny bit. Traditionally, on, the, on the pan? Well, traditionally it would have been always cooked in butter. And if the doctor still allows any of us to eat a little yeah. bit, just uh, it does enhance the flavour. Okay. There's no beating butter in, okay. in anything. Well, we all, we all have we're to very be, proud of our Irish butter. Absolutely. Here, aren't it just yeah. has to be... Uh, um, conscious of all, uh, how much you put on. How much? Yeah. Um, but that's it. Pretty much, even on a dry heat, a couple of minutes both sides. Like I said, till it gets that little bit um, uh, crispy and, and cooked through, just cut through. And um, and here you are. And there you go. And I dare Absolutely you. Absolutely delicious. I had one already, yeah. believe it or not, when you were actually uh, starting the interview. And I have to say, absolutely. Right. We have two, two varieties here today that have just launched it new to the, to the retail market. One of them is obviously the original that I spoke of. Yes. And this one almost got me uh, thrown out of the family when my mother realised I was starting to fiddle with her recipe. This okay. one is a little bit of dry smoked bacon, a local producer to us as well. Oh, a, terrific. a tiny bit of dry smoke, we dice it fine. Okay. But it does give it just that little bit of a different, An extra taste. A different flavor. Or a different flavour. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, Stephen, it's a super idea. Stephen Hennessy from Box Day Makers, many thanks for talking to us this morning on Gardenville.tv.